Jess Freeman here, your Fearless Executive Director, and this video is about booking activities. Now, do not play games at your parties that are going to potentially embarrass somebody or um, are not going to move your business forward, like, you know, the lap dance game or pass the penis in between your knees and things like that. Um, I have heard of many people who have been to parties in the past where the consultant has played games like this, and it turns them off. And therefore, they didn't want to order from them or book a party with them or even join their team. Um, so stay away from, ga from games that are going to embarrass people like that. Um, instead, play games or activities that are going to better and boost your business. So um, one of the, my favorite icebreaker games is when we first start the party. Um, I'm going to say, for example, there's 10 people sitting at the party right now. And I say, all right, ladies, you know, before we actually start the party, I want everybody to get their cell phones out. And what you're going to do is you're going to text me your name. Now, since there's 10 of us here, um, we'll say the fifth person to get through and their text messages are going to win a prize. How exciting is that? All right. So then um, now remember, ladies, do not hit send until I tell you to. We want to make sure that everybody has a fair chance. I'll give off my phone number. I have to repeat it a couple of times to make sure that everyone's got it. But once everybody has gotten my number, I say, all right, are you ready? On your mark, get set, send. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting a bunch of text messages coming through my phone. So I count five people, or, you know, you can choose whatever number you want to use. Um, but, you know, we'll say the fifth person, oh, yay, Sarah, you're my fifth person to come through. Yay, congratulations. Your prize is, you know, 10% off of your favorite product of tonight. Oh, so exciting. Yay. Um, so, and then I say, now remember, ladies, um, Save my number, and you can save it as Jess, Jess Riemann, Sex Toy Lady, uh, Passion Parties Diva Extraordinaire, basically whatever it is that you'll remember me by. And so whenever I call to check in with you to see, you know, how your products are turning out for you or um, testimonials or perhaps, you know, you're getting close to a warranty and I'm checking in, you know who's calling. Um, so then I say, now make sure you put your phones on vibrate because that's the way we like it around here and, you know, make sure you put it away so that way we don't interrupt anybody who's actually enjoying the party. So that's the great icebreaker game to get everybody's information. Everybody gets to save your information and it, you know, it kind of kills a lot of birds with one stone. Now, a couple of my favorite booking activities that I like to play um, is, let's see, we'll start off with the balloon game because this is one of my favorites. Um, I get two colored balloons. I will utilize the pink one for my hostess and the orange one for my guests. And so with these two colors, um, I pass around the orange ones to my guests and then the one pink one to my hostess. Now remember, before I actually came to the party, I prepped all of these. I have post-it notes with prizes inside, um, and I shoved them inside each balloon. So, you know, they're folded up. No one's going to be able to see what the prize is until they pop the balloon. Now, um, what I do is I tell the ladies at the party, all right, now remember, ladies, do not blow these up because otherwise, you know, I want to make sure I keep your attention. However, hostess, can you please go ahead and blow up your balloon and just kind of let it sit there for a little bit? It's going to, that's going to serve a purpose for many reasons. Number one, it's going to remind me to play the booking activity. But number two, it's also um, going to be something that's in the back of her mind and in the back of everybody else's mind as well. They're going to see this balloon kind of floating around. And they're going to wonder what's inside that balloon. So after I go through some products and things like that, and I'm about to start off with my booking activity, I say, all right, ladies, now the balloon I gave you, if you're willing to book a party, um, well, actually, first of all, everybody blow up, your part, blow up your balloon. Now, if you're willing to book a party, I want you to pop your balloon. Now, here's the deal about this. Our hostess, when there's four parties booked tonight, when four of you ladies pop your balloons, our hostess gets to pop her balloon. Now, inside of each balloon are prizes. And there's things like free products, there's discounts in there, there's shipping. I don't know which prize you're going to get. And the only way to find out is if you pop your balloon. So, you know, the, you might get a couple people who are very anxious and, you know, to see what they have in their, in their balloons. So, you know, you'll hear a pop, pop. Um, typically, I can get about three people to book a, a party and pop their balloons. But sometimes I have a little trouble with that fourth person. So what I say is... Um, well, first of all, my hostess will eyeball every single one of her guests and be like, "All right, lady, like someone's gonna book a party here," um, and so she'll kind of she'll kind of guilt trip them into booking a party. It's really funny. Um, secondly, if nobody is is taking a bait here, I give my hostess the opportunity to snag up one of the balloons that are still blown up and be able to pop it for herself. 
And what happens is she's willing to book a party in a few months when new products come out or there's a new, uh, you know, new hostess incentives, new monthly specials, things like that. Um, and so, therefore, she's, pop, she's booking another party by popping a balloon, but that's giving her the opportunity to get two prizes because she gets to pop her hostess balloon as well. Um, so, that one is a lot of fun. Um, there's only been one time where I had an issue with it because someone was afraid of balloons. Um, but other than that, it goes over so well, so well. So, that's the balloon game. Um, another one is the envelope game, and I actually got this from Miss Brandy and kind of put my twist on there. Um, Brandy Martin, that is. Um, anyways, so what I do is I, I take these envelopes, and I have about 20 of them already made up. And to prep these, what I did was I went through my catalog and I cut out prizes that were like, you know, $15 or less. Um, and then, you know, some of them I have, um, you know, free shipping, some of them I have a discount with shipping, some of them I have discounts off their order or off a product or something like that. So let's say, for example, I walk around and I say, all right, ladies, I want you to pick out an envelope that's basically calling your name. And so, um, you know, you're going to kind of go through each person. They're going to they're going to pick their envelope. And I say, now, do not open this envelope until I tell you to. So all throughout the party, they're going to hold their envelope. And it's going to kind of be calling their name because I decorated it really pretty. Um, I put glitter on it. And everybody knows glitter is my favorite color. And so, you know, it's going to be something that they're holding on to the whole entire time. So when I'm ready to play the booking activity, I say, all right, ladies, pull out or grab your, grab your envelopes that I gave you earlier. And what's going to happen is uh, anybody who's willing to book a party, open up your envelope. There's prizes in every single one and every single prize is different. And so, you know, Sue's like, oh, I want to book a party. Let's see what's got, what we got in here. Ooh, silky sheets. I get silky sheets for free. How so exciting. So I say, all right, let's do, you know, the moment that you book your party, let's make sure that we remember what, what prize you're going to get. So please put your prize on the top of your order form so I remember. And you're going to get that prize the night of your party. So um, that's a really good one. Or you can kind of utilize the envelope one with some dice. Um, and, or you can have your, your guests go through the catalogs and pick out something that's about $20 or less, but um, a really fun way to utilize the dice, and this can go with pretty much anything. Um, you can actually make them buy into their party kind of subliminally. Um, I take my dice, and you can get either, I have my little ones, you can get really big ones, like the fuzzy dice at, at you know, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something like that, um, any type of vehicle type store. Um, and you want to go around and say, all right, now here's the deal. Whatever number you land on with these dice are the price that you're going to pay for the product that you got in your envelope or the product you got in your, in your balloon or anything else along those lines. And so ultimately you're going to walk around and you say, all right, ladies, ready? Okay, you rolled a nine. And so silky sheets, you can get that for $9. Um, is that deal or no deal? Deal or no deal, deal or no deal. And you go through say every single person say, deal or no deal, deal or no deal. And everyone's going to be like, deal, 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 because they love deals. And um, so that's when I say, okay, now remember, this is the price that you pay for the product tonight, but you will get your product the night of your party. And so ultimately, you're saving quite a bit of money. And then the pr person can pay anywhere from $2 to $12 for that specific item. Um so you can even have them go through their own catalogs and pick out something and do the deal or no deal that way with the dice. Another one of my favorites is at the dollar store, you have these really cool Mardi, Mardi Gras beads. And don't worry, you don't have to show your, your breasts to get these. But um, instead, you have to book parties. And so basically with these, what I say is, all right, I'm going to lay these out on the table. And anybody who books a party or who wants to book a party, you're going to pull these. You're going to basically pull a necklace and you're going to wear it. And if all three of these necklaces are picked up and being and being worn, um, our hostess will get a special prize. Now, here's the thing. Anybody who picks up one of these necklaces will get $20 to spend at your passion party. That's right. I will give you $20 to party with me. And so the thing is, is you don't get that money until you book and keep your party. Again, you get that money when you, when you have your party date. So then from there, I say, all right. Now that, you know, there's three of us that have already booked a party that's $20, you know, another 20 with you and another 20 with you. Now, when our hostess um, gets all three of her parties booked with all three of these necklaces, then she is going to get $20 to spend at each one of your parties as well. So, you know, Sue books a party and you say, okay, Sue, you got $20 and yay, Megan, my hostess, you got $20. Oh, Olivia, that's 
$20 for you for your party, and Megan gets $20 to spend at your party. Yay, Jan, $20 at your party, and Megan gets $20 to spend at your party. How exciting! And so, again, make sure, and then you can actually make specifications. Um, book and keep your party date within the next 30 days. You have 30 days to book your party. Um, things along those lines. You must book and keep your original party date to get your prizes. Um, no rescheduling on me. Whatever it is that works best for you. But it's very important to lay out some ground rules when it comes to these. Um, because that, you know, when you, when you have parties, you're in business. Now, some really good um, business building activities to build your team. Um, I really like this one a lot. Of course, it's called Ask Me About My Job. Um, some people pass out raffle tickets. I like to pass out money, um, in which these are like little dollars that I printed off the internet and just cut into little pieces. And I say, all right, ladies, now we're going to spend about three minutes. And I set my timer. And here's the thing. You can ask me about anything about my job. But you cannot ask me about my personal life. I can't tell you what my favorite project is. I can't tell you what, you know, this does for me or that does for me. This is only questions about my business. And so sometimes you may have to start the party or the, the game off yourself. So, you know, at first everyone's kind of sitting there and they're a little quiet and a little shy. Don't really know what kind of questions to ask. So you look at the most shy person there and you say, how much money do you make? And I go, oh, that's a fantastic question. Here's a hundred dollars, shy person. Um, that, I made forty percent of whatever I sell. There are no glass ceilings. Um, all right, next question. Okay, how much does it cost to get started? That's a fantastic question. Here's a hundred dollars. Um, you know, and so basically, whoever has the most a hundred dollars at the end of the party or at the end of the game wins a special prize, and that special prize is again a discount because that's going to increase my sales. There's also another one called Polly Passion and Molly Mall, and um, I don't have it right in front of me right now, but off the top of my head, um, it's basically you get two volunteers. You have one lady who's going to be Polly Passion and the other one who's going to be Molly Mall, and it's something that you read off, and it basically, okay, well, Molly Mall worked for eight hours, and she earned X amount of dollars, and so you give her X amount of dollars. Here you go, Molly Mall. Here's take your take your paycheck. All right, Polly Passion. Polly Passion worked three hours doing a passion party, and she made, you know, $200. All right, Polly Passion, here's your $200. And so you go through, you know, four weeks worth of pay, and um, at the end, Molly Mall counts her, or Molly Mall counts her, uh, her income, and Polly Passion counts her income, and ultimately, it's just a way for everybody to kind of see that Polly Passion earned the most money just by working passion parties. So... That's a really great way to build your team. Um, so with that said, I hope you enjoy these um, activities to play at your party. There's so many more out there um, that I don't have time to cover because this is the longest video I've made. So enjoy using these at your parties, and I can't wait to watch your business boom.